Hello, my name's Pete and welcome to The Verge. Today I'm going to be covering an uh, Apollo 11 documentary and this is in virtual reality and the footage is recorded in my um, Oculus Quest headset. Um, I'm just covering the first four chapters and then there'll be another couple of videos following this. I hope you enjoy it. Peaceful cooperation may never come again. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? So of course this is President Kennedy's famous speech. In a 60s living room. Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept. One we are unwilling to postpone. And one we intend to win. The other side. Earth rise. here were being put into the spacecraft to uh, stand alone by myself uh, out there and look at the rocket and the quietness and see the sun come up and the waves rolling in and the evidence of the millions of people uh, watching but, but nothing specific and just so quiet and realize that indeed uh, such a contrast was going to take place all the frantic activity preparing the rocket but it was so quiet up there for me personally and that in a very few moments uh, we were going to be uh, departing in a great roar and offer a momentous uh, event. Gives an awesome sense of scale. Alright. Ready for liftoff. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower clear. We got a roll program. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll and pitch program with the pitch Apollo 11 on proper heading. And this is a simulator of jerking around, not me. This is Neil. It's a moon. Velocity 2,195 feet per second. And it's starting to get dark. 11 Houston, thrusters go. All engines, you're looking good. Hi, Roger, you're loud and clear, Houston. Huh. We're through the region of maximum dynamic pressure now. 11 Houston, uh, your guidance is converged. You're looking good. Set 8 miles downrange, 12 miles high. Velocity 4,000 feet per second. Stand by for mode 1, Charlie. Mark, mode 1, Charlie. 1, Charlie. Cliff Charles Woods taking a staging status. Mr. Houston, you are go for staging. Car, come on. Budget tower. 
Not sure why we're still shaking around, but... It's a floating pin. And here we are, far above the earth. I think certainly to go as far away as the uh, moon and look back on the earth uh, certainly does uh, affect your perspective. Uh, and then when you see it, tiny as your thumbnail held out in front of you at arm's length, uh, that sort of gets your attention. A beautiful sight, tiny, pristine, blue and white, uh, very fragile looking object shining like a beautiful little headlight out there in a black velvet of space. It does change your perspective. It makes you think that we have to take better care of this little fragile entity, because it is fragile. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Uh, slightly less than one minute to ignition, and everything is go. Factor Apollo 11, go. This is where you need to be sitting down. It does get a bit trippy. The uh, dizziness. We confirm ignition and the thrust is And we're off. Bye Earth. Houston at one minute, trajectory and guidance looks good, and the stage is good. Apollo 11, we're showing velocity 35,570 feet per second. Apollo 11, this is Houston, around three and a half minutes, you're still looking good. Your predicted cutoff is right on the nominal. All right, your Apollo 11, go. Velocity 35,570 feet per second. Altitude 177 nautical miles. Apollo 11, this is Houston. You are going at five minutes. Factor Apollo 11, go. And there's the moon. 250,000 miles away. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, any useful comments and suggestions for improvements, please leave in the video description below. Um, this is my first YouTube um, video and I intend to um, explore space-related uh, games and applications in virtual reality. Alright, see you next time.